coming right up next to the shelter. <sighs> ah! Get out of here! Oh my gosh. One woman for 21 days in some of the harshest environments on the planet. Fire! Oh, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> They're preparing for the jungle. Do you have some advice for me? Come back to me. No, just be totally sweet with your partner. Take care of her. Take good care of her. Are you miss me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to miss you. Are you going to go for daddy? Mm-hmm. Time to go to Belize. Why am I doing this? <laughs> because I want to. Hey. Bye, Henny. Mwah. See you later. I lost my sister-in-law, my baby brother, my dad, my oldest brother, my grandmother, best friend all within like five years. So I really lost myself. This last year, I refound really myself being outside and pushing myself above and beyond what I normally thought I could do by like biking 125 miles or running 10, 15 miles when I've never ran before. And every time I felt like I was broken and I couldn't go any farther, I would find it in myself to just keep going. One thing that makes me unique about this challenge is I am the only one that's had an encounter with Bigfoot. <laughs> when I was 12, we were sleeping out one night in the tents and we heard something walking around and we knew it was on two legs. We heard it sniffing and it laid right down on me on the tent, covered my shoulder, my leg, and I actually had to pull out of under it. Ever since I don't like the dark, it scares me to death. Annie and Trent are beginning their 21 day challenge in the Mayan jungle on the Caribbean coast of Northern Central America. Highly venomous spiders, including the deadly black widow and the jaguar that stalks its prey in the dead of night. Far from the lights of civilization, the setting sun on a moonless night sinks this foreboding landscape into the depths of total darkness. Here we go, off to the jungle. Here we go. Time to demasculate myself, turning from predator to prey. I'm Trent. I am nervous all the hell. Yeah. Throw up, I well, think, I'm to be naked honest. too, so. Good, I'm glad. Where are you from? I am from Illinois. Illinois? Yeah, where are okay. you from? Okay, Utah, Salt Lake City. Nice. Well, let's see what we have. In addition to a machete, Trent and Annie have each been allowed a survival item. I have flint. Oh, well, I brought a hammock. A hammock. <laughs> As I pull out the hammock, uh, I don't think she knew what to say. It's a hammock. I, I, under, I know what hammock is. <laughs> My brain shut down. I just can't imagine what a hammock would be for. <laughs> I don't know what to say. How about that? <laughs> I saw her smile and it was that fire in her eyes. I saw that fire in her eyes and I knew we were gonna be okay. I know you can do a whole lot with bamboo, so I think as much bamboo as we can pack, we can hold water in these and everything, oh, so sure. should we hack a couple of yeah, these down? And... absolutely. Well, there's one. Trump seems very pleasant and very nice. Oh, you good? Hi, how you doing? Nice, nice. <laughs> no, we really just met. And we definitely are gonna work together really well. I think he's a really cool guy. Annie, this is where the hammock comes in. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> We're gonna use some cordage here. Trent and Annie spend the rest of the afternoon constructing a temporary shelter from palm leaves and bamboo. As the sun sets over the Mayan jungle and temperatures plummet into the low 50s. Oh my god, oh my god. 
god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, you're awesome. Good job, Annie. We have fire. Good job, you. That's are you awesome. Kidding? You're gonna be a good partner, I can tell. I can tell. I can freak that easy. Okay. Not many people can say they've touched it, but. Would you tease me like that? Seriously. You're a tease. I was 12 years old. He laid on me. Ever since then, I have never, ever been outside without a gun. Ever. Until now. This is my first time. Day two it was cold. So a little bit unrested this morning. <laughs> we didn't sleep very well. You ready to find water? Yeah, let's very take Very sweet. Water is a huge priority for us today. We're not going to function very much longer without water. Part of me slashing is warning the snakes I'm coming. Oh, thorns. Oh, sharp rocks. Oh, lie. Yeah, you like literally went in my mouth. This challenge is definitely a little bit more difficult than I expected. Well, I'm on my ass. Oh, there's a big old hole up here. Oh, look how crystal clear it is. Oh, it's flowing. And you know what that is? That's 100% clean water out of the rock. Comes all through that soil, filters everything out of it. Today to get water it was absolute pain in the ass. But the end result was awesome. My water was super yummy. Oh, now the work begins again. Yeah. Trent and Annie return to camp to reinforce their shelter and build a stone hearth to protect themselves from the cold temperatures at night. There's baby termites here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. I know, there's like a whole nest under there. Can you see it? Look at that. Can I have yours? Yours is smaller. No, I already named Come it. Come on, look, mine's even funky looking. I already named mine, so I could eat it. Okay. okay here. All right. On three. One, two. two three. Wait, wait, wait. Whatever, this is your idea. <laughs> okay, ready? <laughs> should we Ew, feed, should I we hate feed looking at each it, other? Looking at no, just kidding. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I ate half of it. Totally tastes like mint. Mine didn't. <laughs> Seriously. Sorry, but it did not taste like Just mint. Spit on my toe. <laughs> I'm feeling exhausted and I feel pain from my toes to my head. The constant pain in my legs and my feet. And the more it hurts, the more it affects me emotionally. It's just it's like a, a horrible battle constant pain all the time, no matter what I do. It's really hard out here. Maybe I'm not as strong as I think. I thought about it all night, all morning, and I fought with it. And I'm done. And I really thought I had it in the end state. I just, I don't, I can't do it. If you could do the hardest part, you could do the easiest part. And we've done the hardest part. You realize that, right? I'm really sorry. I'm I It's all right. I support you, but I don't want you to go. I just can't take it. I'm done. Well, we do what we gotta do. <laughs> It's really hard leaving my partner. He's a really cool guy. She's a fiery, sassy little one. And she came out here looking for something. And she didn't get what she came for. And I've only known her three days, but I care about her. But I wish I could have done more. My decision to come out here was to be able to humble myself. Maybe I'm robbing myself, I don't know. Well, guess it's just me. <laughs> 18 more days. I am finally naked and afraid, truly.
it'll be a little different tonight. That's for sure. All right, my first night alone. I know it doesn't sound like the end of the world, but... But it's lonely. Naked and not afraid, not even a little bit, right? Last night, something comes tromping up through the jungle. I'm way too exposed out here. <laughs> I think I got this idea from Gilligan's Island. So this morning, first thing, I made a door. It'll definitely help protect against animals. It is pretty secure. It's on a hinge, opens up. Now that I can live with. I'm really lightheaded all of a sudden. I don't have any energy. I've got to set traps all over the place. It's go, 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 or die, die, die. <laughs> My target right now is the rodents, small animals, squirrels, the gophers, the groundhogs. Those are what are on my level down here, and that's what I'm gonna start going for. Hopefully we get lucky. End of the day, starting the night shift right now. Um, this is the part I don't like because all the crazy sounds come out at night out here in the jungle. It scares me to death. existence as he is tormented by an unknown presence lurking around the campsite. A severe lack of protein has dropped Trent's serotonin levels, tilting the chemical balance in his brain to a dangerous point, leaving him unable to distinguish paranoia from reality. went around the shelter and now it's coming back. Get out of here! Come on! Oh my gosh. What the Get out! Ah! I gotta get out of here! Help me! Trent. Trent, what's going on? Holy oh We're gonna regroup up there. Seems to be okay. I've never wanted somebody here so fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love every one of you. I thought someone yeah. was hunting me. <laughs> As the crew returns to base camp, Trent heads back into his shelter to try to get some desperately needed sleep. Oh my gosh. I have never been so scared in my life. I'm just going to sleep. I'm going to sleep through it. I don't think it's going to come in the shelter, but if it wants to tear into here and kill me, I guess it can. It's a way better story for my kids than I died of cancer or influenza. Oh! I just walked over here and a gopher ran in this hole. Let me take it out. It's gone. Well, maybe I'll have to dig those out more and then just wait. I heard him rummaging around down there and I was dead still, but he wasn't coming out. I think he can smell my scent. 
I know gophers don't like air going down their hole. They always come back up to the top and bury it back in. I'm just gonna wait and when he comes to try to bury it, I'm gonna stab him. Mr. Groundhog teaching me patience because it's gonna turn into a game of patience and he's teaching me how to get him. I'm gonna put coals in it, see if I can smoke him out this morning. We're both getting craftier. Okay, let's go try to smoke him out. He'll have to surface somewhere. So I'm gonna dump these right down in there. Bury it back up. And when he comes out of this hole, he's mine. I thought I could wait him out. He's got way more patience than I do. I thought I could smoke him out. That didn't even do it for him, so I don't know what to do. The elusive rodent. Every morning I come out and those holes are filled in. Seriously, lightheaded. I have been pursuing the mole for the past three to four days. I've staked out the hole during the day. I've staked it out in the evenings. I've staked it out at night. I keep thinking of that little mole. Just dug up another hole. The mole is under me. I can hear him moving around. Got him. Yes, Trent has food. Daddy's going to eat. Oh, yes, fantastic. I hate to kill something, but you do what you gotta do. Smells like a barbecue. It's hot. Mm. It tastes really good. Tastes like unsalted and unpeppered steak. Mm. My body's happy. Very happy. I don't care what that does to my body tonight. I don't think I've ever been so grateful for anything in my life. It is extraction day. Woo! Would have been nice to have a partner. I'm just gonna hack through this and follow that down, then I know I'm on the right path. Oh, lightheaded. Oh, I burn out fast. My legs are burning. My head is pounding. I can't get enough breath. I hear something. I'm not walking anymore. Oh, for real? Yes. My heart started racing so fast, I wanted to run towards it. This right now, right here, is what I thought about every day. And it's here, and it feels so good. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So happy. Yes. I've come a long way in the last three weeks. Huge, huge fear of the dark that I've overcome. There is nothing I can accomplish. 21 days naked, 18 of them alone. I'm never taking my clothes off again. Woo! Almost ready to see everybody. Here's your sign. I want you to see this. I have longed for this day right now. Look, a bed. Watch, watch me lay my head down. Oh. <laughs> 